Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's trading floor. It is March 1st. So we've, uh, we've got a lot of things that, well, are, are we going to get past? We know we've seen a lot of farmers selling, a lot of these basis contracts that have to, uh, that had to come due and a lot of decisions being made by producers. Looking forward, now that it's March, are we going to see, well, some rebalancing from some funds? Uh, as we know, right now, funds are short about 160,000 contracts of corn, roughly 34,000 contracts of beans, and they're short over now 100,000, 105,000 contracts now short uh, of wheat. Will we get some rebalancing from funds? Will we see uh, some of uh, just a recovery in these markets uh, just from, well, some short covering? So we'll see what happens as we move through today and get into this new month. Also, you've got chatter, new month, new money. How many times have you heard that? We're in the time of year right now where that does influence us because, well, we're not out in the fields planning. We don't have a good control of what's coming. We don't have a good control of the weather, but it is money flow. So you will start to hear that more and more over the next few months. Um, we did also get at 8 a.m. this morning uh, a sales uh, or announcement of 140,000 tons of beans to China. Um, we're starting to see that pick up and, and seeing some, some sales, but uh, I guess it was the unknown, but we're assuming that it's China. But we'll see as we go forward. But that may give us a little bit more of a jump as we get things restarted at 8.30. Corn overnight up three quarters of a cent, beans up five and three quarters, wheat up a penny, so looking for a little better start this morning as well. One thing that I want to remind everybody, we're getting into the Allendale Acreage Survey, and this is a big, uh, a big deal for us and a big deal for you guys out there. Our goal is to get you guys a, a number that is relatively close to what we're going to see on March 31st from the USDA as far as acreage. So they're starting their survey process. We are as well, trying to find out what's really going to be planted this year and what are we looking at here for the, for the end of the month. And so we've done very well with these numbers over the past several years. And the only reason we have is because of you out there giving us accurate information. We certainly encourage that again and would look forward to seeing what your numbers might be this coming year uh, as well. So get online. You can do that right online or give us a call and we'll take those numbers for you as well. Livestock. We've got them opening up here in a little bit. Probably going to see a steady open today. You got the stock market that's working a little bit higher. Uh, show list numbers yesterday, though, only a 2,000 head increase, so relatively quiet. But are we going to start to talk more seasonals for livestock? And this is what we need to pay attention to throughout this week. For hogs, the seasonal sell is actually today. And so we need to keep an eye on that. We did take out support levels yesterday, and we need to watch that again today. So uh, strength may be looked at as selling opportunities for hogs. And cattle, they do come here uh, in the next few days. So watch for that, but expect choppy markets out of livestock in general as we get more into this, this seasonal season. Looking at uh, stock market, up about 96 points right now. Crude oil up 40 with the dollar right about unchanged. So give us a call if you have any questions. We're here to help you out. 800-262-7538 or online at Allendale dash inc.com. You guys have a great day today and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.